and Jackie Chandler in here talking about Geo Sierra. You were in yesterday. We're talking about this program uh, basically to pump up and promote El Dorado County and find out what's unique in the county, correct? Okay, yes. That's well, no, you tell me that. Yes, that is that's correct. That's my interpretation. And it, but the things we want to put on the menu are things that are authentic that we want to sustain, like the mountains, rivers, lakes, the valley, 14 feet of topsoil. These are things that we don't want to go away. So they need to be higher up on the menu so that visitors can only choose what's on the menu. I mean, if you went to Italy and it was California cuisine, what a ripoff. If you went to France in the wine country and they only serve Napa wine, I mean, you might as well stay at home or go to the places where those are authentic. So when you come to El Dorado and you come to Lake Tahoe, people are coming here for what's authentic. So how do we make sure that they get a touch of that, a taste of that, whether it's the food, all the food that's grown over here, could be in the restaurants over here because it's part of the same region. So people come to El Dorado, why not have an El Dorado wine or have olive oil that's grown from organic olives here in Camino or all the fruit, six months of food over here could be in these restaurants. That's how we can work together to help sustain the economy and what we love that's authentic as, as hosts. But it's still okay to go like to the Chinese restaurant now and then. You know, here's an idea, <laughs> like pizza parlors. What if the pizza parlors used all the vegetables that were grown over here? As a matter of fact, Fitzpatrick has, he calls a pizza garden. He grows all the vegetables for pizza. So there you go. The Chinese people could buy a lot of the vegetables they use over here. Why buy them from Fresno when they're grown right here? And then we sustain this 14 feet of topsoil agriculture lifestyle that makes it so pristine and this, the lifestyle that is so authentic here gets to stay and not get mowed over. Well, isn't it true, too? I mean, if you don't have to transport those vegetables from San Francisco uh, to here, too, I mean, right. it, it, it ends up costing less. It has a smaller footprint. I'm starting to kind of grasp what you're talking about That's here. it. So that's part of it, too. Get the vegetables locally. Yeah. So these farmers markets are, are, are part of what's good about El Dorado County. I mean, we got this is a historic first time ever Mar Myers uh, farmers market today at 2 o'clock. First ever. OK, there you go. Definitely the farmers market showcasing the food that's local, yeah. buying it, and then more than even putting it in the restaurant, let visitors know. Let visitors know that their blueberry pancakes came from blueberries over here, not from Canada. You know, let visitors know that the wine they're drinking is from someone that makes sure the animals that cross their territory don't uh, get slaughtered. And that the, they're, they're practicing actions conducive to stewardship. And we model that, then the visitors pick up on it. I mean, people are coming into our home and it's a national treasure. So as they come in, if they see us take the bus, take the bike, if they see us participate in the culture in a way that's conducive to sustaining it, we can help them find the trail, find the trash can, help them feel welcomed, help them have the high touch we experience. They'll feel the love. They'll care like we care. Now the place will stay. Yesterday you and I talked after the show about Tao Arts and Mountain Culture, a great website for visitors to really get a feel, get a handle. Of, uh, of what the locals kind of have a pulse on. But when you come and visit, it's the same thing. You talk about yeah. Italy. My wife and I went there earlier in right. the year. And it takes a while to get into the rhythm, to figure out where things are, to figure out what's going on, to figure out what's hip. It's nice to have one location you can go and kind of get a pulse on what's going on. Becky Bell has done an amazing job. The Tahoe culture that she's put together, and it's an online site, tahoeculture.com, celebrates local people that are in the culture, whether they're sports, arts, craftsmen and there you do get a sense yeah. of what the locals do so uh, we're a little like. bit short on time I want to make okay. sure that we get it out there that people can go to the website and then uh, I want to say elect but nominate nominate you know, their elect, favorites about El Dorado County elect and nominate and the reason we're trying to do this is we don't know where all the things are I mean these are some of the treasures I bring in are things that I found out but these can be up higher exposed when we move the menu to expose what's authentic in the characteristics of a place, people will enjoy those, will be sustained, they'll have a better time. Yeah. And then one more time, the website. TahoeChamber.org, and then click on the El Dorado nomination portal and let us know what you love. Jackie Chandler, Geo Sierra, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, El Dorado County. El Dorado uh, County, that's where we're starting. We want all the other counties to get in on it, but right now, El Dorado's the first. Thanks for coming down. And Okay. That's it. We got to stop now. We're going to be right back with more after the break. Okay. <laughs>